The 2014 French Open begins this weekend at Roland Garros in Paris. Special correspondent James Brown is here to show us a young man who could be the next great American champion. JB, good morning. Good morning, Charlie Angel. A very inspiring story indeed. At 16 years of age, Francis TFO is the son of immigrants from Sierra Leone. He practically grew up on the tennis courts. Canisita para. It's 8 o'clock on a Tuesday morning, and Francis Tiafo is in class like any other 16 year old. But that is where the similarity ends. His day lasts a whole lot longer than that of the average kid next door. I have lunch for a half hour, and I'll do school again from 12 30 to 2. Then I'll play 10 from 2 to 4, and then 4 to 6 to go to school again. Francis spends nearly 12 hours a day here at the Junior Tennis Champion Center in College Park, Maryland, in a full-time development program geared to produce future American pros. Since I was like eight, I always wanted to be playing pro tennis. As the second-ranked junior in the world, Francis is well on his way. Last year at 15, he became the youngest champion in the history of the prestigious Orange Bowl tournament in Florida. Known as the fifth Grand Slam of junior tennis, some of tennis's all-time greats catapulted to stardom from there. Guys like Federer won it, Bjorn Borg, Andy Roddick, and being, being in a list of one of those names is huge though. His drive to make it comes from his father, Francis Sr., an immigrant from Sierra Leone who served as the tennis center's janitor. He lived in this small storage room so that he could open and close the facility. The room is now an office. And I have my bed here. Mm -hmm. And I had um, like a, a little shelf here where I put some books and clothes and all that kind of stuff. Francis Sr. worked 16-hour days for a decade and often would stay in the storage room with Francis and his twin brother, Franklin. Where did they stay with you? Well, um, sometimes they sleep on my bed whereas I'm walking. What was it like staying over here at the center? Uh, we were on the courts a lot. We were sweeping the courts, and then like go to bed like probably like midnight, and then wake up and play again. He practically grew up at the center, and that really paid off. After a while, Francis developed as a player. Soon, parents and coaches took notice. Parents came to me and said, "Man, listen, your son is actually playing good tennis right now, but he was really discovered by Misha." Misha Kuznetsov has coached Francis since he was eight. At night when I was leaving to go home, I saw him practicing serves and just being around the sport all the time without coaches, without his parents making him do anything like that. It just everything came from him. He really wanted to play the game. That hard work led the center to give Francis a free scholarship in their academic and training development program, a value of over $40,000 a year. It's quite expensive. So I'm like very, very happy that I can come here for free. The program has propelled Francis to a world ranking. You watch Wimbledon now. And on to the radar of Patrick McEnroe, the man in charge of development for the U.S. Tennis Association. Does he have the potential to become one of the top males? A lot has to happen, but does he have the potential? I will unequivocally say that he absolutely does, that Francis has the potential. Francis Tiovo. Francis says turning pro is not something he's thinking about right now, but he's keeping an eye on his future while remembering his humble past. Have you ever thought about how different your life would be, Francis, if your dad hadn't worked here? Yeah, I think about it a lot, a lot. Without him, wouldn't be here, wouldn't be where I'm at right now, wouldn't be traveling, we should be a normal kid, doing, doing normal stuff. There is absolutely nothing normal about Francis. As a matter of fact, his father says his job at the center was the blessing of a lifetime. And his other son, Franklin, goes to a private school in Washington, my alma mater, by the way, DeMatha in Hyattsville, Maryland, and he plays for the high school tennis team. Francis says his ultimate goal is to win the U.S. Open when he turns pro, and his quest begins at the Junior French Open this week. Oh, yeah. wow. His father's story is remarkable. Yes, yes you know. Yes. No question yes. about it, Charlie. And he ought to be commended because so often we see stories in here, stories where the dad isn't meaningfully in the life of these kids. He has been intimately involved, and he certainly deserves all the credit. What about college?
oh, he absolutely wants to go to college. But a lot will depend upon what is on the table at that time. But academics clearly is number one in this family's life. Great story. Oh, consider mm -hmm. me Team Francis already. <laughs> Just the sound of the ball, Charlie, the sound of that ball well. hitting the racket is great. I'm sure you swing a good club too, right? I, I swing. I swing. Yeah, I'm not going to say good, but okay, I swing. But she has a plan. I have a plan. <laughs> she has a plan. James, this is my plan. I'm taking tennis lessons. No kidding, because I want to beat Charlie Rose. Oh, well, I'm taking know what? tennis lessons right now. A worthy objective. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Keep trying, Gail. I got it. Lots of lessons. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. Mm -hmm.